The goal of our project was to take solar energy from the sun and focus it onto a point so that we could boil some things such as hot dogs. Um, one way to do this is to use a parabolic surface lined with mirrors so that we can focus all of the beams of light from the sun onto one point. So one way to do this would be to take a, a mirror and mold it into the shape of a parabola, but that proved difficult to do. So another method that we considered was to take a satellite dish, which already has a parabolic shape, and to tile it with one inch diameter circular mirrors. And that would approximate the shape of a parabola so that the beams of light from the sun would be directed towards the focal point, which would boil the water. This initial attempt with a two foot, two foot diameter satellite proved successful. So we decided to expand the concept to a eight foot diameter satellite dish. This took many hours of work distributed over several weeks to tile the service completely with mirrors. Okay, again, this project is uh, geared toward collecting solar energy. And we had to come up with a scheme to actually collect energy. So what we did, we took a, a glass coffee pot and we put it within another metal pot. We cut open the front section of the metal pot. So that as the sun beams in, we actually hope to focus the energy right at the center of the water itself. And the uh, back escaping energy will be actually striking the metal pod itself and heating up the metal itself to, to be more, more efficient in collecting the energy. And what we have here is a, a way to actually manipulate the pot up and down so that we actually can uh, get the thing at the right point, at the focal point. And if you come around the back side here, you see how we did this. We took a uh, vise and we were able to, to tip the vise or actually spin the arm on the vise. And if you go to the front of the mirror, as I spin the arm on the vise, you see what it's doing. It's actually bringing the uh, pot of water up and down so that we can ensure that we get the beam focused in the right spot. And this whole structure was so big, this is an eight foot dish. So what we had to do, we had to mount this thing onto a set of uh, of, of wheels and the whole structure then is supported onto this wooden frame and uh, we found again the reason why we supported the structure we found it too difficult to tip, tip the structure back and forth and that's why we're actually tipping the focal the focal point and uh, or not the tipping the focal point the tip, tipping the uh, location of the pot into the focal point and we're gonna go out there uh, and test this thing out and let you guys know how it works well no I'm not Ozzy Osbourne to talk about cell phones today but what I'm here to talk about is uh, our parabolic mirror once again, and we brought it out today. It's a little overcast today, unusual ring around the sun. But uh, if you put your hand here, somewhere near the focal point, right away you can feel the intensity. You can almost see my hand glowing there. And what I have is a piece of cardboard here. And I'll see if I can uh, show you what that beam looks like as it's concentrated there. You'll see the corner of that paper there corner of the cardboard how bright it's glowing over in the corner there and if we held this here long enough you'd see this thing would ignite and what I got here is a, a little spot where this this paper is starting to, to scorch and ignite so what we'll do here at this point we'll try to get our, our uh, pot of water set over here at the focal point and we'll see if we can raise the temperature of that water okay here we are looks like cleaned up a little bit here guys I, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to find where that focal point is and it feels like it's a little bit in. The way we have this design, we have this design so that we can adjust the location of the pot. And not only up and down but towards the center. And what I'm going to try to do is bring this thing in. Right toward where I, I feel the intense heat. And then what I'll do is I'll go to the back here and I'll raise this thing up. Try to get that thing right into the sun so we get that pot glowing. If you look at that thing, you'll see that pot starts to glow. Wow. You see the intensity right there. Let me raise that up. I'll try to get that. And at this point, we're going to get some water in there. So it looks like we got it at a pretty good position. Okay, guys, we're back at it here again pretty much an overcast day. It's not the best day to be doing the experiment, but uh, we've got 500 milliliters of water. And you can see the pot 
is, wow, you can't even touch this, this aluminum pot at this point. So I'm going to put the water in here, 500 milliliters. And what we're going to do is time this and just see how long it might take to bring this uh, water up to temperature. We're starting at a, with a temperature at about 60 degrees, uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit out of the tap. And we'll get back with you in a bit here to see just how good it's going here. Okay guys, we're back at it. The, the pot is extremely hot. You can't even touch the metal. The glass is in two it's, it's, it's very warm, the water. It's been about seven minutes. I'd say it's probably about 125 degrees at this point. We, we don't have a real good contact between the metal pot and the glass, so what we're going to do, we're going to tomorrow, we're just going to try, try an actual metal pot and just eliminate the actual glass between the two and uh, see if we get to obviously better conduction between the metal and the water inside. That's it for now. Check with you tomorrow.